Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome in. And if you like my channel, please subscribe to me. All right, look what I got. Another long lost round robin. I do a lot of round robins with my mom, which means I work on it and she adds her two cents and I add my two cents and then we keep going back and forth. Well, you know, some of these round robins get lost in the mix and forgotten about and we go on to a new round robin. <laughs> so these robins are just flying around everywhere. This is a very long page. I forgot about this one that she gave me this weekend. Um, I remember making... I remember this tree, and I can tell I made it because there's all the glue gun remnants, so I know that was me. And I can tell that this was mine, my input, because of the color of the knife. Continued it over here, and then she did her beautiful zen tangles. And she did it over here. And she also did this. She's very focused and can do a nice Zentangle spread. But you know, here's some places up here ready for me. And I was inspired by Janet's channel. Somebody on there just talking about a shared link of somebody who does fiber gluing takes fiber and yarn this yarn and glues it on okay well I can't find my yarn <laughs> don't laugh at me only I can laugh at me all right um so I can't find it at the moment oh I do know where it is but I don't want to get it that's the truth so I'm going to take this beaded curtain. It's very boho, but look how much I have of it. Woo! And it's very cool. And instead of yarn, I'm just going to glue this. I have a scissors. And I am curious to know if any of you do round robins with your family or your friends. I think they're cool because everyone has their own thing they want to add, which changes the whole piece, changes the flavor, gives it a little more spice. Kind of like the prompts we do on the Janet Nash channel. She gives us the prompts and then we all come up with what we, how we interpret it. And they're always different. taking longer than I thought it would because these beads are very incorrigible. I've got to try the yarn method. She has inspired me and I hope I can find the link to put it in the description. You can see what she does. The one I saw she was making sunflowers. I didn't see what glue she was using though. Oh, it was hot glue, but you know, mine's turning out wonky. So <laughs> hers did not turn out wonky. So what's the problem here? Maybe because it's yarn. 
I wish I had a little piece of yarn. I have this. I don't want to use that though. I have this eyelash yarn. All right, look, thank goodness I found this round a piece so I can try it over here. Hot glue and eyelash trim. Let's get this out of the way. Can't let the hot glue sit because it will dry quickly. All right, I didn't pay attention to what she was doing because how did she not burn her hands? <laughs> Why is it sticking? I bet she had a small glue gun. I don't know. I bet you're all curious and you want to go look. I'm curious now. Oh, it's fun. It looks really pretty. It just looks pretty. I don't know what to tell you. Of course, mine are um, not very compact. I like it. However, it seems a little of a challenging craft to do, so... I really admire that she can do this. And don't you just love a good eye eyelash eyelash trim? Because it's so soft and pretty and eyelashy. All right, look. Fabulous. This is my two cents for today. Oh, it looks wonky. <laughs> it looks bad. Oh, I just don't like it. But... I want to fix it now. See, because this blends in pretty good, but then, and you've got all this other stuff that blends together, but then you've got, eh, eyelash trim. I was going to take it right off, but you know, let it stay. It needs a home. And it's pretty. Don't you think it's pretty? All right, this is enough of this round robin and it's finished now. So thanks for tuning in. It's another idea for you to do. Start your own round, round robin and share it with somebody and it's a fun project. Okay, so I will see you in the next video. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.